hello 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 and welcome back to another video so today i'm doing a chit chat get ready with me i literally at seven o'clock is currently know, let me show y'all it's currently 8 52 and i was like i'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me at seven o'clock and i i did it i just finished and i wanted to welcome you guys to another video i hope that you guys get something out of this video i love chit chat get ready with me i love to just talk and have a good time so before we get into the video please if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe and if you're new here hello my name is michaela or md i'm a 24 year old content creator from houston texas living in dc so be on the lookout for more content because baby i'm just getting started okay just getting started all right so if you want details on this look and a little bit of chit and chatting be sure to continue watching Like I said in the intro, we are going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm not gonna go super duper like in detail um, about the products I'm using. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't want to lie, but <clears throat> but I did want to film this chit chat. Get ready with me, just because it's late at night. Okay, I say it's late. It's literally 7:54. But I don't know. I just wanted to talk. I wanted to, you know, get on here and just chat with y'all. And do my makeup. I was in the mood to do my makeup, so that's what we're going to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So let's let's just talk. So it's interesting because as much as I love like social media and like content creation, I've really been battling with this. Um, I don't want to call it like idea, but battling in my head a lot. It's like as much as I love social media and content creation, does it love me back? If that makes sense. And I feel like I'm in one of those spaces where it's like I love social media and I can see the benefit in it. Like I've been able to work with some really cool brands, you know, even with a smaller following, I've been able to work with some really cool brands and I really enjoy short form videos. I've been wanting to do YouTube for so long that when the time was right, I was like, let me just buy a camera. And if I get this camera, you know, I'm going to be consistent, obviously, to the best of my abilities. And for the most part, I feel like I have been, obviously, you know, things like school and just a number of things was like getting in the way of that. Um, and I feel like it's one of those things where I'm like, do I want to keep doing this? Because, for example... I've been posting on Instagram and it's like the numbers just are not there. It's like no matter how hard I go on Instagram, like, yes, I've grown significantly, but it's still not as much growth as I would like to expect. And I mean, I know part of it is like inconsistency <clears throat> because when I was consistent, I was seeing those numbers. But at the same time, it's like, it's like, what is going on? Like, why is it taking so long for me to see the fruits of my labor when it comes to, you know, now TikTok, TikTok is different. I feel like I got on TikTok, made a video, went viral, and I had, I'm at 8K. But the thing is now, it's like the 8K just isn't budging. I'm like, let's go. Um, and so... I think again it's one of those things where it's like you can be consistent and sometimes videos just do not bite and unfortunately sometimes it's the videos you know that you work the hardest on and that you're very proud of and you're just like why is this video not doing good like you know and it's like you get amped up about it and then it's videos that you're just like playing and they get you know that's the ones that kind of do really good numbers and stuff like that so i think right now i'm just like is influencing really you know what i'm saying like is it too late did i hop on the bus too late but then i have videos and i think the biggest thing for me is the community i think i'm still at a place where i'm building community but because i haven't you know been consistent i feel like i don't consistently see the community that i want if that makes sense so I guess the answer isn't that it's, or I guess, yeah, I guess the answer isn't that it's too late to be an influencer. It's just, it requires a certain level of dedication, you know, like it really, really does. And that's with anything, 
Um, but influencing, it really is a numbers game. And I think I would get so caught up sometimes in the idea of like, oh, like it's so saturated. It's, you know, we hear that all the time. It's so saturated. Everybody's an influencer now. But at the same time, I think the beauty in it is that there's literally somebody for everybody. Like there are more than enough, you know, people that aren't creators. And, you know, there are a number of people that, you know, are that just genuinely want to watch what you do. And that's your following. That's your audience. And it's like, I'm teaching myself I can't get so caught up on the numbers. Like, that's just not the end all be all. What I love to see is when people actually comment, when people, you know, are engaged. Like, that's always such a good feeling because you know we do put a lot of work into this whether you're a big big influencer or small influencer like there's a lot of work you know that goes into this this realm like into influencing so I definitely think it's a numbers game but at the same time we all have our days you know what I'm saying so I think now that I know like okay this is what I want to do I want to make really good content I think now it's just putting my money where my mouth is and really just continuing to produce, continuing to um, drop really good content, like content that people enjoy. And it's like if all I do is grow by one follower, be grateful for that one follower. I recently saw, and I don't know where I saw that, but basically they were saying like, you know, we we get annoyed when it's like only 50 likes. But it's like if 50 people told you you were pretty in one day, you would be overwhelmed. You'd be like, whoa, like, okay, I must be really pretty. So it's like, why do we not compute that with likes? And it's easy, you know what I'm saying? Because social media makes you think like, oh, if you don't have a billion likes or you don't have this or if you don't have that, like, it doesn't matter. But in reality, like, all those things do matter. You know what I'm saying? Like having a community of people that just want, you know, to be engaged with you, that are engaged with your content, like, that's... That's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I was like, oh, I only have 300 subscribers on YouTube. That's not enough. I don't even want to tell people. But like, that's 300 people that, you know, took the time to subscribe to my channel. So even if I'm not, you know, like a Jackie I know, like even if I don't have a million subscribers, that doesn't mean, hold on, I'm moving y'all a little closer. Good. That doesn't mean that what I'm doing isn't valuable. It just means... You know that I have a lesser a smaller group of people seeing it and I think at the same time as I progress I did notice that you know I was getting more likes more follows more shares and stuff like that so I think it's just about making meaningful content and I think it's hard to when you get in like ruts you know what I'm saying like it's easy to get into a rut where you're like I don't want to be on social media like, I have those days all the time where I'm like, I do not want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to be on social media. I don't want, you know, to post. I don't want to edit. Like, editing takes so much time. Like, one reel could take me, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, like, depending on what it is. You know, and then you have to film the reel. So, it's just a lot of it takes a lot of time. But, you know, anything worth having is not going to come easy. So... I think I just have to have to learn that, um, you know, and be okay with it taking some extra time because it is something that I want to do. Like, I love content creation. I really do. Like, I love I love every aspect of it. I love the editing. I love watching other people. So I just don't see, you know, why I wouldn't continue to do something that I love. And I feel like I'm so good at it. And so naturally good at I've loved social media since MySpace. Like when my mom let me get in MySpace, I was too lit. <laughs> like, you know, on there, creating my own homepage, adding the music, and that's what I love about reels and you know, all these TikToks and stuff like that, because you can add your music, you can do this, you can do that. And I think it's just so much fun. Like, not only is it so much fun, it's just your personality. And I think a lot of times the scary thing, <clears throat> or not the scary thing, but the thing about influencing now versus like when I was growing up is that it's becoming very homogenous. Like everybody is that girl. Everybody is the girl. Everybody, you know, loves fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Like everybody does the exact same things. 
<clears throat> and I think the downfall isn't that people aren't doing the same things. It's that they're not doing it in a way that's original to them. Everybody is that girl, but everybody is ultimately the same version of that girl. You know, so I think also, you know, like learning how to learning how to, um, you know, just be yourself. Like, I feel like there's so much beauty in just being yourself and doing what you really love and what you really enjoy. And that's what I try to, you know, think about on the days when it's like, oh, I could quit. I could, I could stop doing this today. Like, you know how much time it would save me? But I love it. Like, I really do. And my hope, I'm at 300 subscribers now. I really, really would love to get a thousand by my birthday and, um, you know, yeah, a thousand by my birthday. 500 by Christmas. I feel like that's more than enough time. Tell a friend to tell a friend, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, but again, it's not it's not always just about the numbers. I think also what really made it about the numbers were when these, you know, platforms started pushing, like, these programs and, you know, things like that. So the process, it's like if I see she's getting up and she's, you know, making money and she's getting this, this, and this, of course, you want to make content that you feel like is doing what her content is doing. But just yesterday, I heard somebody say this, and I know it all too well. Just because you copy the playbook don't mean you're going to win the same way they win. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Just because I can tell you, okay, this is how I edit my reels. This is where I find my music, and this is how I do my thumbnails. At the end of the day, the product may look the exact same, but... Are you going to push it the way I push it? Are you going to take that extra step? Those are the things you really have to consider. And when you think like, oh, it's such a like, it's such a, you know, such a oversaturated field. You just have to figure out how do I stand out? Like make it less about, oh, I'm trying to like, my brows are not looking the way I want them to. Hold on there. Okay. That's a little better. But, you know, you just have to realize, like, okay, everybody's not going to do it the exact same way that I do it. And it's okay. That's more than okay, you know? So, I think the biggest advice, you know, is just to be yourself. Like, learn how to be yourself and body that. Like, body being you, you know? Don't, don't think you have to do it the same way. Now, I don't think it's wrong at all. This ain't working. <laughs> I don't think it's wrong at all. You know, to get some inspiration. I get inspiration all the time. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think what's wrong is when you copy the playbook and you get so annoyed with yourself. And in reality, it's not that you can't do it. It's that you're not doing it in a way that's authentic to you. So it feels forced. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like you. <coughs> it's so funny because, you know, me and my friends, me and my friend used to make like little YouTube videos back in the day. It would have so much fun because we didn't think about it. Like, we were literally just being ourselves. That's it. Um, and now, you know, there's so much thought that goes into it and has to be curated. And I think that was the fun part of TikTok at first. Was that TikTok was like a land of just fun. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was worried like, oh, like I should be doing it like this. Like, TikTok was just for fun. And unfortunately, you know, of course, curation happens everywhere. So now people are starting to, you know, be a little bit more curated. But I think you just have to find the positivity in all of it. I don't know. So I think in terms of influencing, I want to continue to do it. Um, and I think I'm learning. You can't complain when you know you haven't done what you need to do to get to where you want to be. You know? So it's like, if I want the numbers to grow, I have to be consistent. Like, that's literally all it is. Like, And I've seen it firsthand. It's not like I'm incapable of doing it. It's just a matter of consistency. And school gets in the way. Like, life gets in the way. Things do get in the way. So, there's that. So, I'm going to put lashes on in a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to my base. Um, I'm trying to think. For primer, I want this to be more of like a soft look. I don't want this to be super matte at all. So, for primer, I'm going to go in with this NYX Bear With Me.
with this nick bear with me because i want it to be kind of like a dewy look <clears throat> but yeah so that's kind of like my take on influencing that's my take on influencing as a whole i feel like it's never too late to start you know what i'm saying again there's enough space for everybody i think i think there's more than enough space for everybody and i think that it's also one of those things that you don't have to come into it with the hopes of oh i'm gonna get like a million subscribers oh i'm gonna get come into this getting 10k or whatever 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 um but at the same time you know i think if that's your goal like come in and be intentional but don't let that be your end all be all like the first part of it is should be having fun like you know i know some people that work at like a job and then there are other people that are just having a good time and if you have a good time it doesn't feel so much like work so i don't know guys i'm gonna continue to do it at my own pace and just run my own race because like i said you know social media will have you out here thinking lord you just ain't worth it <laughs> So I mean, have you I think you ain't worth nothing, ain't got nothing, ain't gonna be nothing. You know, but it's all about perception. It is all about your perception, your perception, your perception. And again, I read a lot. I love books, specifically like self-help, you know, little fiction books, stuff like that. But I was recently reading this book and she was basically saying like, you have to know when the party is over because you never want to be the person you know when you're in the club or wherever you are and the lights coming on and you have to start facing the ugly truth been in the club or i'll give you do we want better if you've ever been to like a college kickback and you know when the lights come on and you like this where i be <laughs> i'll never forget i went to kickback floors were sticky but i didn't notice it <clears throat> until you know everybody had left and we was just walking around talking and i'm just you know that noise that your shoes make when they're sticking to the floor it was like that and so literally walking around you know and that noise is happening but that's like it's it's the same thing you don't know what's going on because you in the dark just having a good time and in reality you know like you really in some dirty on a dirty dance floor you know like that's really where you are but you having such a good time or you're so used to it that you don't know so you have to know when the party is over i'll give you guys an example i'm not gonna go too in detail just because i'm tired of talking about it but um uh, you know just actually i won't even go give that example i'll just say with some guys i feel like it's been a two-way street I've overstayed my welcome and I've allowed them to overstay theirs. And I think it's one of those things where, and now that, you know, obviously I'm in therapy and stuff, I'm starting to realize like what the commonalities are, where the pattern is. <laughs> but you know, you just letting people overstay their welcome. And I think that the way in which God works in my life, and I don't know who you believe in, but if you believe in something, you know, the way it works is at the end of this whether you like it or not hold on, i'm trying to find this one product i guess i could use that one um let me see yeah that's fine whether you like it or not at the end of the day if it's not meant to be it's not gonna be that's just it you can force it you can do this you can do that you can talk about this you can talk about that whatever it may be but if it's not meant to happen it's simply just not gonna happen like God will simply not allow it to continue and it's like sometimes and maybe this is just my experience I feel like sometimes God makes me really learn you know like it's like he was presenting it the easy way and I was like nah <laughs> like no you know I can do it it'll be okay like it'll last whatever whatever and it's like sometimes God is like okay you know and he lets it go as far as he will because you know at the end of the day the mission is never for his children to be hurt you know but he'll let it go for as long as you know it goes and then it takes something big for it to be over and the big nine times out of ten is not good <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's just how it is it's not 
gonna be something fun it's not gonna be something that you like and i think that's where you know i got it and unfortunately again it's not even just romantic situations it's been friendships where i'm like this should have been over should have been done <laughs> like been over you know and then when it is over you breathe a sigh of relief but it's like if only i had let go sooner you know and it's like oh it's like that picture i don't know if y'all seen this meme but it's like jesus holding a big bear and then it's a little girl with a small bear and she's like no 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 like no don't take it <coughs> but she's like no don't take it don't take it but she doesn't know god has this bigger bear and i feel like that's how it's always been with every relationship whatever you know all i gotta say is god revealed to me who has ill intentions around me boom they gone and you know the thing is obviously i'm not saying that i'm perfect that i'm incapable of you know being the person that's leaving their life like that's you know sometimes we just not good for each other but i think in that it's just realizing like you have to get when the party is over like you have to be okay with that and i think sometimes i allow people and i allow myself to stay in situations too long you know what i'm saying like let it go and yesterday when i was talking to my therapist um we were just saying because she was like we need to figure out why you allow people to stay so long and she's like in terms of the guys that i was telling her about <laughs> she's like so are they paying your bills i'm like no she's like oh they're buying you groceries like no giving you gas money nope oh so they must be like driving you everywhere mm -mm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's like you allow people who contribute nothing to stay nothing you know what i'm saying like and of course these are you know i'm not saying in terms of friendships friendships it depends on you know what they're contributing but you know you're allowing certain people to stay like for what for what what are they staying or staying for you know like what do they get to stick around and i think it's just a certain level of awareness that we have to have like at some point point you gotta know her I sound like low rhythm but at some point you have to know when the party is over like you just have to like especially if you know like this is not meant to last forever once you know that you have to learn how to be okay with letting go and you know it's not until you in that situation where you're like dang I'm not as good with detachment as I thought I was. because I used to be really good at detachment you know but then I found out I was there but yeah i don't know i've just been learning a lot i feel like i've been learning a lot about myself i feel like at the same time you know i just realized like there's nothing wrong with giving second chances at all i don't think there's wrong with second chance nothing wrong with second chances i think obviously everything is situational um you know and it's based upon the context but i think when you realize and they leave and it's like <sighs> Like, wow, you know, like, where has my peace been all this time? That's how you know you should have been let them go, you know? And some people, you know, we learn a little, a little later. Some people, people can see it before we do, you know? But I think the number one thing is, like, once it's gone and once it's over, allow it to be gone and allow it to be over. Because when the party is over, like... And being okay with letting go, like you gotta learn how to let go of certain things and certain people and go on with your life. But at the same time, I have been like given second chances, you know, not, I mean, let me phrase that. I've been okay with the thought of giving people second chances. Cause honestly, like I said, I used to not be that, that person. Like, I used to just not be that person. Like, hold on. It just wasn't who I was. And. You know, it just wasn't. But I think at this point in my life, I'm about to be 25. I'm just ready to walk into a new season. And I'm okay with forgiving people. I'm never going to forget. <laughs> I have a really good memory. But I am okay with forgiving people and just moving on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be the grudges. It doesn't have to be so much hatred. Like, it doesn't mean we have to be, like, best friends. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means... 
You know, you have to know how to forgive. Because I thoroughly believe that so many people block their blessings by not being able to forgive. Like, you have to be able to forgive people, man. Like, and realize people make mistakes. Like, things happen. Like, that's really what it is sometimes. People really do make mistakes. You know? And you just, again, you have to pray for discernment. Like, you really do. That's all you can do. Let's pray for some discernment. My camera keeps overheating. Set. But like I said, I feel like part of me growing up and becoming the version of me that I really wish to be has to learn, you know, how to be okay with forgiving people. Because I feel like sometimes I'm like, I just want to know why. <laughs> that female. Why? You know what I'm saying? Somebody like me who I always have the best intentions for people. Why? Why do y'all act so crazy towards me sometimes? That's really what I be wanting to know. But I think, again... Growing up is realizing that everybody has their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own stuff. And you just have to move accordingly. And you have to be respectful of your boundaries. I set boundaries in the past. And I have been so flimsy with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so flimsy. The second I say, oh, I'm going to do this, somebody called me. Girl, you want to go get a drink? I'm like, oh, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even respect my own boundaries. And it's like... If I don't respect my boundaries, if you don't respect your boundaries, why would anybody else respect your boundaries? Because you lead by example. You show people how you want to be treated by treating yourself properly. If they think, oh, she don't care, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do the same thing over and over. And if you allow them to continue to do it, they're going to say, oh, but you ain't ever cared about this before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've been, I've been communicating with you improperly this whole time. Now you want to care? You know? So it's like, that's what it's about. It's about learning how to to love yourself enough to enforce those boundaries. And this girl, I know I'm quoting a lot of people today, but I be reading, y'all be reading. But this girl was saying um, something along the lines of discipline. Like she, she was saying she would really be down on herself because she's like, I'm just not disciplined enough. I'm just not disciplined enough. And she said the day she learned that discipline is rooted in self-love is the day everything changed and that's the truth like instead of saying do i feel like going to the gym you need to say do i love myself enough to be healthy instead of saying oh, i don't want to you know pay for these healthy groceries do i love myself enough to be healthy oh i don't feel like studying enough do i love myself to study for the course that i signed up for you know what i'm saying like do I love myself to let go of situations that no longer serve me? Do I love myself enough to resist temptation? Do I love myself enough, you know, to not let people play on my top? Like, those are the questions I need answers. To say that dis that is just discipline. It is because the harsh reality of figuring out, damn, I don't love myself the way I thought I loved myself. That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's a lot. So that changed my perspective on a lot of things. And I just feel like now I'm at a place where now that I get that, I'm on a clean slate. I'm not talking to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't beefing with nobody. Hopefully. <laughs> I ain't beefing with nobody. I'm not in nobody's business. Hopefully ain't nobody in mine. You know, like, I'm just at a real good place. You know, well, let me not say... I won't say it's not a bad place. It's just a very, like, straight place. It's a place with no confusion. Let's say that. You know, like, I'm not worried about nobody's raggedy son. None of that. I'm just minding my little business. Getting my little coins. Well, not little, my coins. And that's it. Like, that's really all I have time for. That's it. That's it. So that's the thing about 25. I just feel like it's ushering in such a transitional period for me like I feel like I'm being exposed and my eyes are being open to so many things and it's like I'm taking a little second because I don't make up as long but I feel like I'm being exposed to just so many things like again do you love yourself enough to not you know 
partake in certain things anymore. And I do. I really do. And it's like, again, as I'm going into 25 and I'm making this transitional period, I feel like I'm in a period where I'm even telling myself, you got to show me. <laughs> you know? Me to me. You got to show me. I have to prove to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I can't go to the club with you every weekend. No, I can't do this. No, I can't do that. I have to love myself enough to say no because the short term versus the long term, the long term is just much more beneficial, you know? Like, I literally, I love myself enough to wait for the long term now. Like, I'm not in a rush. And I think that that's what it's about. Like, the woman I want to be for 25, I'm not even like, phew, man. And the thing is, I'm not even in a stage where I'm like, oh, I'm becoming her. No, I am her. I'm just continuously evolving. I'm her. <laughs> point blank period i am her but you know i'm watching as i continue to grow into this version of me you know what i'm saying it's not somebody i have to become it's somebody i have to grow into and it's literally like i'm like looking for something hold on with that comes growing pains you know what i'm saying like for real like and growing pains i think in terms of this looks like a number of things it looks like sacrifice it looks like saying no it looks like a lot of compromises. It looks like feeling as if you're missing out on some some like certain things. It looks like having your head down. It looks like you know, it looks like contextual isolation. Like sometimes you're just gonna have to be alone. Like everybody can't come here. It looks like really letting go of relationships that no longer service serve you. And it's also, I think, a matter of honoring those relationships. Thank you for being there for that version of me but unfortunately this version of me don't require it no more you know what i'm saying like unless you're gonna elevate too this version of me does not require what you were once giving me and i think for example hold on y'all i don't know when you try to put a lip line on but your lips a little ashy it just be hard <laughs> damn and I think it's funny because in regards to <clears throat> in regard to a connection of mine that just recently ended, I think that that version of me, I won't ever say needed, but they worked for that version of me. Let me just say that. They made sense for that version. But it's like the things that I'm trying to do next, you can't go. You can't come for this ride. Y'all know like that one TikTok. Um, do you have a, do you got a wristband? Do you have a wristband? Like Hurry up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. Oh do you have a wristband? No, no. Why well, you can't get in? You need a wristband. For the free? Now I'm not gonna mess with you for the free. Please. I know you've been that, like if you ain't got a wristband, you can't come. You know? Like that's literally all it is. It's not even no it ain't no nothing but that. Like you just can't come. This requires a lot of work. A lot of time, a lot of effort. And I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with it. I just have to make sure I love myself enough to... Yeah. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I feel like this version of me requires a lot. But I think this version of me, Miss 25, um, she ain't dealing with everybody. <laughs> she not dealing with everybody. And honestly truthfully you better act right because honestly i just don't have a problem with cutting nobody off like once i was able to cut so and so off i don't cut anybody off i can do it i believe in myself it's just it's time it's time it's time it's time like i keep saying i want to be this i want to be that i want to be that but you gotta get a time to it like i said that's with anything not just influencing not just that not just this anything you want you have got to give it some time, okay? So if you putting your time in the wrong things, that's why I'm sitting here editing. I mean, that's why I'm sitting here doing my makeup at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to go, but I did want to give content, you know? So I was like, whatever, I'm not doing anything. Why not? Stay here and talk to the camera. It is therapeutic, too. <sighs> but I think as I progress on YouTube, I do want to open up more. I feel like I have so much that I can share with y'all, like, 
to be 24 i didn't live a long life <laughs> i have i didn't live a long life y'all and i'm excited because my semester has finally come to an end grad school is not for the week i tell you it's not for the week ain't for the week so now that that's done i feel like i can do anything actually let me fix my boy. yeah i feel like the face looks good yeah <laughs> i hate that damn look. i like my lashes a bit smaller and i'm not the hugest fan of these but seeing as yeah Where did I get these lashes from? This doesn't even look like something I would buy. Unless I bought it on accident. I don't usually wear like super long lashes like this anymore. So yeah, this is a little diff. But I'm about to go change and finish doing my hair. And I will be right back. Hey y'all so i just changed i just have on this super cute v-neck dress it's actually from h and m i just did my hair i left it sort of tussled i left it sort of tussled because it's like naturally like a little wavy so i just left it like that um honestly guys i just hope that you enjoyed this video you enjoy sitting here chit chatting getting ready with me i should have named it a chit chat get ready with me for bed <laughs> That's what I'm about to do, <laughs> okay? I'm about to go to bed. But no, honestly, I just, I love these type of videos. I love being able to sit down and just talk and connect. I hope that you heard something that is relatable and that inspires you and that makes you want to go harder. I'm so excited for this new chapter of my life. Big 25. It's in a couple of, it's actually in a, like, it's, is it less than a month? No, it's not less than a month. It's like a month and a day. I'm honestly just excited to see what 2023 brings and what 25 brings. I'm super duper excited. I love a new year. And honestly, like I said, I hope that you guys were able to get something out of this. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more because, baby, we just getting started. Okay? We just getting started. All right. As always, love you guys. Mwah.